Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here to SWF Rebellion. I am, of course, your host, CEO, President, Commentator, C.M. Puma. And ladies and gentlemen, we have one show left. This is it before we head into crowning achievement. Let's take a look at our card here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Starting things off tonight, we have a triple threat maidens match up here it is going to be angelina lane taking on the newcomer nina letter and selena these three women are going to battle it out here tonight starting off swf rebellion in our second matchup of the evening it is a semi-finals matchup for that swf elite championship it is calypso versus ryan adams Following that matchup, we've got, well, to be frank, it's a battle of the losers. Brett Storm, Evelyn Reeves, both have had matches and have both lost twice. Somebody's going to come out the victor on this matchup. Is it going to be Brett Storm or is it going to be Evelyn Reeves? Brett Storm, lately on Twitter, has had some choice words for Calypso. We will get into that shortly. The next matchup is another Maiden's matchup it is Don Carr with her significant other Duke Zenda in her corner we have Jade Corzo with her brother Alex Corzo in his corner what could this mean for crowning achievement we'll have to find out following that we have our second semifinals matchup for the SWF Elite Heavyweight Championship it is Tyler Adams versus Kid Hades the winner of this matchup and the winner of Calypso versus Ryan Adams, they go to the finals, and the winner is your SWF Elite Champion. Is it going to be a battle of the Adams? Is it going to be Calypso and Kid Hades? Who knows? We will find out soon. And in our main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that uh, was brought to my attention by the board. They thought highly of this matchup and thought that every gentlemen in this matchup deserve a second chance that's right this is a second chance eight-man battle royal over the top rope is how you're gonna win this matchup and the winner of this eight-man battle royal will be added to the SWF internet championship matchup at crowning achievement so we have Will Steele we have Bruiser Brad Eli Robledo James Lanza Ryan Riley, Hunter King, Havoc, and William Parker. Who is going to come out on top? Somebody's going over the top rope. Who's going to be the last man standing? That man will join Siler Jordan, Ryu Takeshi, and Duke Zenda in that internet championship matchup. Let's see who's going to take home that last spot. Make it a fatal four-way. These eight men have got a lot to fight for here. So, with all that said, let's start our matchup. First matchup of the evening. It is our triple threat maidens matchup. Angelina Lane, Nina Letter, and Selena. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The following matchup is scheduled for one fall, and it is a triple threat maidens matchup making her way to the ring we saw her on SWF showdown in a battle against the blonde beauty club where she teamed up with Jade Corzo another newcomer this ladies and gentlemen from Chicago Illinois is Nina letter can she get the victory here because now she's facing the leader of the blonde beauty club and Angelina Lane so is that gonna play a part in this matchup is that gonna be in her head who knows but she's also got one other person in this matchup that she has to deal with Selena who made her presence known in the SWF Maidens Championship Tournament where she got um, all the way to the semifinals before being beat by, Bron by uh, excuse me Jessica so we will have to see what's in store there but here we go her opponent ladies and gentlemen Nina Letter stands in the ring it is none other 
as I said, the leader of the Blonde Beauty Club from New York, New York. This is Angelina Lane. Now, her two stable mates, Ashley, Brittany, they faced off against Nina Letter and Jade Corzo. Ashley and Brittany, of course, having teamed a lot longer, they are now the only tag team in SWF at the moment. But they were, they've teamed up a lot longer, as I said, on Showdown over in GPW, Grand Prix Wrestling, where I believe they hold titles. So they are not one team to mess with. So we see Angelina Lane just draping herself over the ropes. Center of the ring. Wow, look at that. Angelina Lane, ladies and gentlemen. And last but not least, from Houston, Texas, her other half is Calypso, who we will see later in the evening. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Selena. And as I said, she managed to beat Rachel Walker in the first round of that Maidens Championship tournament. And then the semifinals, she lost that match to Jessica. Jessica has moved on to the finals where she will face off against Veronica Haas. But right now, it is triple threat time to open up SWF Rebellion. Let's get this match started. Selena looks ready. These fans are ready. We have Nina Letter, Angelina Lane, and Selena. Let's get this going, ref. Ring that bell. And Lane goes right after Letter. Selena wisely backs up. Look at that butterfly suplex. Nice move by Lane. She goes after Selena with a kick to the gut. And look at this. Northern Lights. Wow. Angelina Lane so far taking it to these women. And Nina with a nice reversal there and a kick of her own to the head. Big knee. Knocks Lane down. And a kick to the back. That starting sequence that we saw whoa nice reversal and again that starting sequence we saw where angelina is attacking both women only gonna get both women to attack her back selena standing back now she goes for a kick on angelina but catches nina just a little bit and nina blasts selena with a super kick to the head i hope i don't get these names mixed up a lot of inas going on here selena being pinned no she kicks out at one and now Nina Letter and Selena going at it. Nina coming up and catches Angelina Lane sleeping. Look at that fisherman suplex. That was a very nice move. Very nice move. Ref watching closely. Letter picking up Lane. I think I'm going to call them by their last names. <laughs> that might be a little easier for this old commentator. Look at that. Hurricane Rana face buster. Selena now has Letter and oh, and a face buster of her own. That was a nice move by Selena and a neck breaker a twisting neck breaker by Selena and it looks like Nina's rolling out to catch her breath Selena up on the top rope Brit, uh, excuse me Lane making it to her feet look at this oh my god ladies and gentlemen a top rope code breaker and Selena is very proud of herself and I don't blame her that was one hell of a move she should have gone for the pin, though. If I would have if that was me. And it allows L Lane to catch her breath. Letters wondering what's going on. And here we go. The first double team. Double gut buster on Letter. My goodness. Lane wastes no time. Tossing Selena over the top rope. Nope. Selena reverses. And a big knee to the side of the head. Selena's the only woman standing. She gets... Laying up to her feet. Look at this. Up for a power bomb. No reversal into a DDT. Letter's going to take this opportunity to pander to the crowd as these other two women battle each other out. Look at the strength of Lane. Deadlift gut wrench. Right into a uh, look at the just rubbing the forearms across the face of Letter. Lane's got her up. Kick to the stomach now. Oh, stomp to the back of the head with a big elbow. That could have been it. Nope. Not going to get Selena. 
into an atomic drop. Nice move there. Uh oh. Lane with the with the. Well, I was gonna say Lane with the pump handle, but Selena reverses, and a big back body drop. And now Lane, crawl or rolling out of the ring. Whoa! What a move by Selena off the ropes and a big splash oh in the pin selena going one no just a one count on letter wow i think that's going to be the key to victory one of these women is going to have to be out oh nice fisherman suplex and she doesn't go for the pin that was odd one of these women is going to have to be out and the other so the other two can one of them can get a victory it's just this is just pandemonium i can only imagine what that eight man royal uh, excuse me, that eight-man battle royal is going to be like. Nice kicks there by Lane as she goes down. Ref running all the way around. One, two. Oh, my goodness. How close was that? Letter with an arm breaker reversal. Selena, oh, and a scratch to the back. Selena just waiting her, her turn here. And Letter going after Selena. Look at this. No. Selena gets there first. Ref, you might want to watch out. And a kick to the face. Nice reversal by Letter. Look at this. Back body drop. And now Selena's able to roll out. And she goes right after the pin. Does Letter know? Just a one count. Everybody has had their turn on the outside. And let's see how this is going to unfold. Nice Meteora into the pin. One, two, no. Letter able to kick out Selena back in the ring. And, oh, man, deep six, what a move. And Selena goes for the pin, just a one count. I don't believe that. My gosh. Reversal from Lane. Let her out of it right now. Selena with the reversal again. Atomic drop. And now, look, she's got her hooked up. And what are we seeing here? Oh, nice face buster there. Oh, my God. Letter comes in with a huge spear and goes for the pin. Is she going to steal this victory away from Selena? No. Selena is able to kick out. Wow. Holy cow. What a sequence of events that was. Big drop kick by Le Oh, and another. Ducks the clothesline. Body spl splash. Jeez. All this action. I'm getting tongue-tied here. Selena... Once again, rolling out of the ring. Angelina Letter. La Lane might catch. Oh, what a move that was. Little wheelbarrow face buster. And is she going to steal the victory here? One, two, no. Just a two count. Lane and Letter going at it. Elbow to the face by Nina Letter. We got her hooked up and a snap suplex center of the ring she's gonna go for the pin off the snap suplex selena slowly getting to her feet on the outside a two count no lot of close calls here in this matchup selena going after letter and oh my god what a flip over face buster i don't even know what to call that and a 630 centon ladies and gentlemen what a move there that is the falling star. Selena is cleaning house, and she goes for the pin on Nina Letter. One, two, no. Wow. Selena, go for the pin. Nope, I would have went right for that pin on Angelina Lane. Nice reverse DDT there. He's going to pick Letter up, and an uppercut pushes her back a bit. Hooks her up. Fisherman suplex. In the pin, but no. Lane is there quickly. Reverse Frankensteiner. Jeez Louise. Oh my, is that it? Selena has to roll out. One, two, 2.9. My goodness, what do these women have to do? Elbow again to the face of Angelina Lane. And oh, let, let her went for the spear. Lane sidestepped it. And look at this. The kicks and the elbows. Ducks one, but catches a foot right to the face. Man, oh man. And Lane 
quickly and wisely going for the pin. Two and a kick out at two. This newcomer does not want to give up. Look at the deadlift. Gut wrench. Man, oh, man. And she goes right after Selena. Wise move there by Angelina Lane. Oh. Picks her up. And a DDT by Selena. Lane rolls out. Selena's got let her up. And oh my God, what are we seeing here? She's got her up again in a face buster. That could be it for Nina Letter in this matchup as Angelina Lane is stirring. Is she going to be able to get to the ring? One, two, three. Oh, a two count. My God. What an amazing matchup this has already been. And it's the first matchup of the show. Holy Toledo. Letter takes the legs out from under Selena. Lane back to her feet on the outside. She slides in. Uppercut. Look at this. Meteora not going for the pin. And uh-oh. This could prove unwise by Letter. Jeez Louise. Tossed halfway across the ring by Angelina Lane. But she's ooh, playing possum. And Letter going for the pin after that. Dragon Whip and no. Man, what is happening? This is just crazy. Selena backs up. Kick to the stomach. That was a big kick. Look at this. Big slam down by Selena. She's going to drag Lane over to the center of the ring as Letter rolls out. Is this it here? One, two, no. My gosh. Elbow to the face of Selena. Lane now to her feet. Let her stirring on the outside. Here we go. Dodges it and she catches one. That might be it for Selena, ladies and gentlemen. The beauty kick right to the face. One, two. Can let her get there just in time. And Angelina Lane is not happy about that. Power bomb to Nina Letter. And follows that up with the big knees to the side of the head. Lane is losing it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. My gosh. Stomp to letter. And now Lane with the gut wrench. Oh, the deadlift gut wrench. And man, she cleaned house right there. What a sequence of events. Frog splash, but no. Letter. Dives out of the way. Oh. One. Two from Selena and a two count. Making Letter work for it. Selena with that reverse DDT we've seen a few times. Lane on the outside stirring. But is she going to make it in time? Look at this. Look at this. The rings of Saturn. The rings of Saturn on, Selena, on Nina Letter. Oh. Angelina Lane misses. Able to knock it down that time. Wow. And now Lane tosses Selena into the corner. Nina let her out. Center of the ring and a nice reversal. Knee to the face. Oh. Driving the beauty club leader's face right into her knee is Selena. She goes for the pin. Whoa. What? A, my goodness. This match. We could end the show right here, folks. Body splash by Selena. Nina let her going for the pin off of that. But no, Selena says, are you crazy? That's my pin. These two ladies meet up and a spear. Spear by Nina Letter. Could that end this matchup when so many things have already tried? Two, three, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Nina Letter is your winner holy toledo check the twitter page later for some gifs of these some of these just insane sequences look at this pop-up meteora to nina letter my goodness and here we see that gory bomb the Cosmic Clash from Selena. And look at this. 
bam, right into a spear from Nina Letter. Holy Toledo. That was fantastic. Nina Letter making up for that loss on showdown in that tag match with Jade Corzo in the Blonde Beauty Club. Your winner of our opening bout here on Rebellion is Nina Letter. What a matchup those three ladies put on for us to start SWF Rebellion. But now, this one is for all the marbles, ladies and gentlemen. Calypso, Ryan Adams, the winner, will go on to the finals at SWF, crowning achievement and a shot at the Elite Championship. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This one is a big one for both of these gentlemen. Making his way to the ring from Houston, Texas. He stands 240 pounds. Calypso, ladies and gentlemen. And as I said, this matchup has huge implications for the next couple of days as we head into crowning achievement. Calypso faced off in the first round against Brett Storm, who as of late has had quite a few things to say to Calypso. We'll get into that. We'll get into that as the matchup starts. But Calypso got the victory over Brett Storm in the first round. Following that, he got the victory over SWF's smallest bruiser in Leo McKay. Leo McKay may have had some other things on his mind with the attack of Evelyn Reeves. They settled that at showdown. Calypso now in the semifinals, taking on this man, Ryan Adams from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Ryan Adams had uh, quite a, a decent run to the semifinals. He faced off against Alex Corzo in the first round. In the second round, he ended up facing Youngblood, who beat Will Steele in the first round, and that surprising upset. Youngblood making it to the second round, only to be beaten by Ryan Adams. He now has to take on Calypso. The winner of this matchup is the first man to be a part of the SWF Elite Championship at Crowning Achievement. Both of these men shaking it loose. Rep rings that bell, and Calypso goes right after him. He was trying to hit that knee. If I'm not mistaken, he did something similar. Liam McKay, backstabber. Oh my gosh. Calypso picking up right at. Oh my god. Are we. Is this happening? Is this happening right there? Jeez Louise, the cosmic clash from Calypso, and he goes for the pin. Don't tell me this is how this is gonna end. My God. Ladies and gentlemen, what just happened? What just happened? The cosmic clash to Ryan Adams. And he must have just not been prepared for the Houstonian Calypso, I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. How do you react to that? One backstabber and then a cosmic clash, and this thing is over, ladies and gentlemen. The ref checking on Adams. I don't believe what I'm seeing in decisive fashion. Oh, looked like he was going after Adams there in, in just very matter of fact fashion calypso ladies and gentlemen is the first man to fight for the swf elite championship folks i i didn't even get a chance to speak about brett storm and calypso i, I guess i will get that chance now in, in this matchup i'm at a loss for words ladies and gentlemen i don't at all understand what's happened how ryan adams came to this matchup so unprepared but life goes on. It is what it is. Calypso is now the first member to face off 
for that SWF Elite Championship. In this matchup, these two men both have losing records and have yet to win here in SWF. It is Brett Storm versus Evelyn Reeves. Ladies and gentlemen, in our third matchup of this evening, no, excuse me. Yes, our third matchup of the evening coming to us with just anger in his heart from Aberdeen, Scotland. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brett Storm. And as I've said, he has yet to get a victory here in SWF. His luck could change tonight. And he probably is not happy to see Calypso move on. As I've said, these two have been, uh, well, I say these two. Mainly it's been Brett Storm kind of calling Calypso out on Twitter and in, sh in the comments of shows. In one part, he says at the showdown, after the showdown uh, episode last week, He's not involved in the matches, so he's not going to talk about him. So what he is going to talk about is Calypso. He says, if you win that heavyweight championship of the world, then watch your back as I will break your jaw with my elbow, then break your leg with the Storm knee bar. If you lose, the same thing will happen. So Brett Storm is, he might be on a tear. We might, we might see the Storm come to Calypso sooner rather than later. Now this man, Evelyn Reeves, he's been um, he's been showcased quite a bit as of late. He uh, had his matchup last week on Showdown against Leo McKay, where he did not win that matchup. Leo McKay came out on top. Evelyn Reeves faced off against Leo McKay after Leo's first round matchup against Ryan Riley, who we'll see later this evening. After defeating Riley in the first round, Reeves came down to the ring and just attacked Leo McKay for reasons unknown. Reasons unknown. Leo McKay, of course, not happy about that. And handed Evelyn Reeves his first loss, uh, or excuse me, his second loss here in SWF. And now, as 0-2, he faces off against Brett Storm, who's also 0-2. Somebody's got to kind of come out on top. Is it going to be this man here, or is it going to be Brett Storm? Let's find out right now. Fans are ready to see some action. Who's it going to be, Brett Storm or Evelyn Reeves? And that's surprising. That is surprising to see. And, oh, Reeves snuck up behind Storm somehow and hooked him up into that arm bar. My goodness, and that hammer lock. Oh, what a jumping neck breaker by Reeves. How how the hell did he get over there? And Reeves with a foot to the face, a face crusher there. My gosh, and a kick to the back of Storm. Reeves now sending Storm across the ring in a big knee to the face. Holy Toledo. Right now. Oh, big Big body slam there. Right now, Reeves is in total control. Nice moonsault there. Oh, my gosh. I've um, I've seen Brett Storm in action. And, ladies and gentlemen, oh, what a double underhook DDT there. Oh, wait a minute. As Reeves goes for the pin, no, just a one count. 
I've been on the receiving end of a Brett Storm beatdown, and let me tell you something. It is not something I want to go through again. This is very uncharacteristic of Brett Storm to have two matches and lose two matches. He must be in a serious, serious slump here. Reeves to the second rope. Phoenix splash, but Storm slides out of the way. That could be the opening he's looking for. Nice snapmare. Oh, and a big kick right to the back. And a spear. Holy cow. He went for it a second time after the first time was countered by Reeves into a DDT. Storm now. Look at this. Colin Reeves up and a huge elbow right to the face. Is that what he's referring to when he tells Calypso he's going to break his jaw in a two count? Man. Reeves just collapsed like a sack of potatoes. Oh, and a leg drop there. Up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Calling him up. And a double axe handle from the second rope. Remember the heyday of wrestling when a double axe handle would end a match? Not anymore. Big body splash in a... Oh, my God. God. Reeves goes crazy. And he's scaring the children in the front row. Come on now. Keep your craziness in the ring. He's got him up on his shoulder. Over the top rope and Storm bounces off. Look at this. Reeves standing in the corner. Begging Storm to get up to his feet. Look at this. Oh! Storm rolls out of the way. Reversal, though, from Reeves. And he's going to pick him up and, and just drag him over to the ropes. Reeves tosses him down. From one side of the ring to the other. What a move. That whipping kick. Reeves hops back into the ring. Punch to the face now. He is in sole control and commentator's curse, ladies and gentlemen. I mentioned it before, and I will continue to. Oh! Backbreaker, lung blower, whatever you want to call that. It's devastating, for sure. Deadlift, look at this. Deadlift gut wrench from Brett Storm. He's going to drag Reeves away from the ropes, put himself in between Reeves and the ropes. Using the ropes as leverage... And no, Storm still unable to get the pin there. Into the corner goes Reeves. Elbow, though. Wow. Storm uh, clearly getting a little desperate as he's using the ropes as leverage to try and get the victory. Look at Reeves. Oh, boy. Going way out. And right in front of the Rebel Energy logo. Reeves drops him. Big drop kick to the side of the head, and he goes wild on the outside. Slides back into the ring, going for the pin on the Rebellion logo. One, two, no. Storm able to kick out. Wow. Storm showing some real resiliency here. And no, Storm's going to reverse that. He is not letting Reeves get this upper hand and a backstabber. From Storm. What's he got in mind here? He's going to drag Reeves. Center of the ring. Dropping elbows. An elbow. An elbow. And a fourth elbow. And a fifth elbow across the knee. Of Evelyn Reeves. Man oh man. Oh and a big shot to the stomach. That probably didn't feel good on Evelyn's knee though. Hooks him up. Fisherman neck breaker. From Reeves. Is he going for the pin after that? It sure looks like it. Yes, he does. Fate hand right across the chin of Storm, and Storm's able to kick out. I think you gotta hook the leg, Reeves. That might help. Snapmare. And he's oh. No. 
Storm able to punch his way out of it. A big left hand by Reeves and a kick to the stomach. Oh, man, this could be it. He's got Storm up, side down, drops him down onto the back of his head. And that might be it, ladies and gentlemen, for Brett Storm as Reeves goes back into the corner. Here we are seeing it again. Oh, man. Oh, my God, a big kick right to the face. And again, going for the pin. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Evelyn Reeves is your winner in a hard-fought matchup. It looked like this thing was going to end quite early, much like the Calypso and Ryan Adams match. But it was, it was Reeves in the end, even though taking a spear. Look at that spear. Man, getting driven down into the mat. And bang! Big elbow across the face. But Reeves comes back. Big drop kick right there. And Evelyn Reeves, ladies and gentlemen, is your winner. Holy cow. Getting his first victory here in SWF. And unfortunately, Brett Storm getting his third loss here in SWF. I, I, am, I am shocked that Brett Storm has three losses, but... That's the way the cookie crumbles, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Evelyn Reeves. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is another maidens matchup. It is Don Carr with Duke Zenda facing off against Jade Corzo and her brother, Alex Corzo. Making her way to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, is a woman we have not seen in quite some time. In this Maidens matchup, introducing first from Houston, Texas, this is Don Carr. And ladies and gentlemen, we saw Don Carr last in the first round of our Maidens Championship Tournament. She faced off against Veronica Haas, who is now in the finals, facing off against Jessica. So it's been a while since we've seen Dawn. Will she be able to get the victory over the newcomer? Let's find out. And her opponent coming to us from Tijuana, Mexico. She is the sister of Alex Corzo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jade Corzo. We saw Jade on SWF Showdown. She teamed up with Nina Letter, who we saw earlier in the night, against Ashley and Brittany of the Blonde Beauty Club. The more established tag team in the Blonde Beauty Club ended up with that victory. Jade Cor Corzo and Nina Letter losing their first matchup here in SWF. Can Jade reverse her fortune? We're about to find out. Here we go, the ref rings the bell. These two ladies meet up in the center of the ring and it looks like it's gonna be Don Carr with the first attack. Side Russian leg sweep. She's gonna go right after Jade, but Jade with the reversal. And look at Duke. Oh, look at Jade. Oh my goodness. A somewhat of a modified choke slam, a big kick to the back. Alex cheering on his sister, Duke. The expressions across Duke's face when something happens to Dawn is, it's something. So, Duke's showing off the pain of his significant other there. Jade, oh my God. What a single leg drop kick there by Dawn. She picks Jade up. 
Jade, though, with a big knee right to the face. And she's going to pick Dawn up. Hook her arm. What a suplex there by Jade Corzo. On to one knee is Dawn. Jade right in front of her brother there. And he just mimics the slap. But, but she eats a jawbreaker. And a Thez press. A couple of right hands there from Dawn. As she climbs up to the second rope. She's going to call Jade up to her feet. And what a hurricane Rana from the second rope. Very nice move. And it, I thought maybe she was going for another move, but she climbs up on the second rope and taunts towards the fans. And a punch to the face sends Jade down to the outside. Jade pulling herself. Look at this. Face buster. My goodness. Right out there on that rubber mat. That's only about an inch or two thick. Not very much padding on that concrete. Nice kidney shot there by Jade. Jade eats another jawbreaker. Oh boy. Look at Dawn and face first onto the apron. Right there in front of Alex Corzo, Jade eats a, a face buster on the apron. These ladies need to get back in the ring here. The ref is up to six, it looks like. Oh, there goes Don. There goes Jade right after. It looked like he was closer to nine instead of six. Jade now going to toss Don across the ropes. And what a swinging neck breaker that was. Going for the pin. One, no. Just a one count. Duke seems... Fairly okay with how Dawn is doing. He doesn't seem distracted, or excuse me, he doesn't seem displeased in any way. In a flipping senton, there by Jade Corzo, with her brother looking on, stomping the knee of Dawn. Jade pulls Dawn to her feet, but reversal. Nice job there by Dawn, and she's got Jade by the hair. Look at this, right in front of her brother. Oh man, he's making, she's making Alex look as Jade gets drugged right up to that bottom rope. Throat across that bottom rope, cannot feel great at all. Pele kick by Don. Duke is happy about that. And here we go. Jade stumbling to her feet and a complete shot. Oh, into a submission. Look at the face of Jade. She is full of fear. As Dawn is locking on. Come on, says Alex. You got to come get out of this. But Dawn has got it locked in pretty tight. And she just lets go. Jade didn't look like she was giving up. But man, oh man. The face of Jade Corzo was one of fear. Look at Dawn using the ropes. And a two. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, Dawn Carr gets the victory after she uses the ropes for the pin. Look at that neck breaker there. That is a beautiful move from Jade Corzo. And right here, Pele kick right to the top of Jade's head. And that is followed up by that submission. Ladies and gentlemen, Dawn Carr redeems herself oh look at duke out there just staring a hole in jade your winner ladies and gentlemen don carr our co-main event of the evening ladies and gentlemen is the final matchup in the semifinals the winner of this matchup will be going on to face calypso for that swf elite heavyweight championship is it going to be tyler adams is it going to be kid hades we'll find out right now
Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. This man is quite fired up. He has all the right to be this man. Coming to us from Westminster, Colorado. It is Tyler Adams. I find it quite funny. This man from Westminster, Colorado. Ryan Adams from Colorado Springs, Colorado. You guys might want to do some Ancestry.com type stuff. See if you guys might be long lost brothers. But Tyler Adams, ladies and gentlemen, in this semifinals matchup, he faced off against James Lanza in round one. Then struck up a deal with James Lanza to possibly go after his round two opponent, which was Jay Wolf. Tyler Adams ended up getting the victory over Jay Wolf. And Lanza confronted Adams in the back stage area saying, you didn't use my services, you're still going to pay me. Tyler Adams said, I don't think so. And Lanza attacked Adams in the backstage area, putting Adams through a table. Is that going to affect him in tonight's matchup? Could that affect him in getting to the SWF Championship? We'll have to find out. We'll have to see if this gentleman, if Kid Hades is able to do what he's been saying he's going to do, and that is win the Elite Heavyweight Championship, ladies and gentlemen. Kid Hades coming to us from Mount Olympus, knocking off more than one Greek god from the clouds. He sends his opponents across the river sticks with that go to Hades pop-up cutter, which we saw against Vice, which was surprising to me as Kid Hades faced off against one veteran Hunter King in the first round, another veteran Hunter, or excuse me, Vice in the second round. Can he knock off Tyler Adams tonight and face Calypso at crowning achievement? We will find out. The flames go up. <clears throat> 80s now. He is ready to go. These fans are pumped to see this semifinal matchup. Kid Hades doesn't seem affected at all. But in true sportsmanship, these two gentlemen shake hands. Ref rings the bell. Let's get this thing started. And Hades starts things off with a wheelbarrow face buster. My goodness. Not wasting any time. Hades knows what's at stake here. Oh! What a move there. From the second rope into a moonsault. That is insanity. Huge moves. Starting right out of the gate from Hades, but a reversal there from Adams. Adams uh, got himself some new gear for this matchup, as well as cut his hair some. Maybe the long hair just wasn't doing it for Tyler Adams. Oh, and a rope break. Hades just right now in full control. Float over DDT by Adams. Center of the ring. And Adams hooks Hades up. What's he got in store for him here? A big knee to the face. If you can't breathe. Through that nose, you're going to have a hard time. Over the top rope goes Hades, and look at this. Look at this. Has Hades up. Drops him down right on the ring apron. The fans stand up to take their pictures. And, oh, my God. Hades back driven hard into that ring apron. Tyler Adams. Nope. Just as I'm about to say it. The commentator's curse takes effect, and Hades now turns the tables on Adams. You guys better get in the ring here. Kick to the, to the leg there, it looked like. And here comes Adams. He's got Hades by the head. What's he doing? And Hades knows what's at stake. They're at Ref is at six. Adams is able to reverse out of it, and he slams Hades face first into the turnbuckle. Now he's got Hades in. 
Up to nine was the ref before both gentlemen made it into the ring. Going big discus clothesline there. And boys and girls, we could see the end just as quick as this started. Misses the kick, but catches Hades with one right across the face. One, two. Oh, Hades is able to kick out from the barrage of Tyler Adams. Man, oh man. Adams now. Oh, eats that jawbreaker. Oh my God, the mist. The mist from Hades, you know what that means. And a slam down to the mat. It might be about that time to go to Hades. Are we going to see it? Kick after kick into a backbreaker. Nice move there by Hades. He's going to go for the pin. A little worn out. Probably not a bad idea. Get a little bit of rest. Hades now really sucking wind. And oh boy. Oh boy. Hades. He's got Tyler Adams up on his shoulder now. Go to Hades. Pop-up cutter from Kid Hades. He's going to roll Tyler Adams over. One, two, no. Hades, Kid Hades gets in the face of the ref, says that was three. The ref says, son, you need to learn how to count. Oh, man, what a running STO there from Tyler Adams. And now, look at this. Working that arm and neck area of Kid Hades. And Hades is able to wiggle himself out with a snapmare. Big leg drop. Nice move there by Kid Hades. Kid now picking up Adams. What are we about to see here? Spinning, spinning into a cutter. Wow. That's a pretty big move. Up to the middle rope and a flipping senton. Kid Hayes went to the well a few too many times. Adams moved, but now Adams in the corner. And Hades using his strength. He looks pretty wiped out to get Adams up there on the top rope. Look at this. Oh my God, into a pin, but no. Hades backs out of it, and then he goes for a pin again. He probably would have had a better chance the other way, but it looks like it doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, Kid Hades is your winner. He is going on to face Calypso. Look at this big clothesline. He's going to face Calypso for the SWF Elite Championship. Wow. So at the time, the only people with three wins here in SWF are Calypso and Kid Hades. Man, oh man, this is going to be a huge, huge matchup. Look at this. Pop-up cutter. Go to Hades. Hades. Kid Hades was not happy that the ref couldn't get the three count. Tyler Adams was able to kick out. What a move that was. What a move off the top rope. Hades sits center of the ring. He knows. He's going to crowning achievement to face off against Calypso. The winner getting that SWF Elite Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the evening. It is the second chance eight-man over-the-top row battle royal. The winner getting put into that SWF Internet Championship matchup at crowning achievement. We have Will Steele, Bruiser Brad, Eli Robledo, James Lanza, Ryan Riley, Hunter King, Havoc, and William Parker. Which one of these eight men will get that championship shot at crowning achievement, which of these seven men are going over the top rope?
All right, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of entrances about to go down as these eight men make their way to the ring. We will um, allow these gentlemen to get to the top of the ramp, maybe a little ways down the ramp before bringing in the next superstar for this over the top battle royal. As I said, the winner getting a shot at the internet championship and first man to make his way to the rings. It is none other than the hitman, James Lanza. Next up, with the lights flashing and the red. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, in this matchup, it is Ryan Riley. Coming in third in this eight-man battle royal, it is none other than Eli Robledo. Coming in fourth and halfway down our eight-man matchup here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hunter King. Coming in at number five. He is probably one of the biggest men on this roster next to Jay Wolf. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bruiser Brad. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, this man is Havoc. Ladies and gentlemen, this man no needs no introduction. He was upset in the first round of our tournament by Youngblood. Ladies and gentlemen, the black and gold. This is Will Steele. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. He was eliminated in that, I believe it was a triple threat or fatal four-way for a shot at that internet championship. As we see Will still there in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is William Parker. Wow, where we go, ladies and gentlemen. Lanza goes right after Bruiser Brad. Robledo trying to eliminate Havoc already. Man, oh man, pandemonium in this ring right now. Havoc into the corner. Hunter King able to get out from Ryan Riley. 
And this is just madness. How do we focus on one single matchup here? Lanza on the second rope. A bit, okay. Looked like he was going for a, a, a double axe handle on Bruiser Brad. But Brad was able to get out of the way there. Will Steele trying to eliminate Parker, but that does not happen. Parker makes it back under the rope there. Robledo and Hunter King in the corner. Oh my gosh. Hunter King trying to eliminate, eliminate Eli right now as Parker and Bruiser Brad are resting or catching their breath under the bottom rope. Nice moonsault there from Ryan Riley. Hunter King just throws Eli into a group of people. Bruiser Brad picking up Lanza. Will Steele and Will Parker in the corner. Man, oh man, what is going on here? Nice move there. And a big knee from Ryan Riley to Havoc. Looks like Will Steele was able to fight out of it. Over the top goes Eli, but he jumps right back in. Over the top again. Oh boy. Will Parker with those punches and Eli Robledo, ladies and gentlemen, is the first man to be eliminated. Lanza goes over the top rope. Bruiser Brad really trying to push him out. Doesn't look like he's going to get that way. So we see Eli making his way to the back. And a fallaway slam from Bruiser Brad. Neck breaker to Will, Park, uh, Will Steele. Excuse me. Ryan Riley tosses Havoc over the top rope. Can he get him to let go? He does. Havoc, ladies and gentlemen, has been eliminated. There is six men left. Look at William Parker and Will Steele, and Steele fights out of it. Over the top. Oh, my goodness. It looked like Bruiser Brad was going to be eliminated by Lanza, but no. And a choke slam type move there by Brad. This match is still crazy. Big elbow by King sends Ryan Riley down to the mat. Snap suplex by Steele. Oh my goodness. Steele has Hunter King up. Nice Northern Lights suplex. Look at this. Northern Lights into a suplex. Man, the strength of Steele. Parker now going after Bruiser Brad. Oh, man. Lanza rolling over to the outside a little bit. Look at this. Steele has got Hunter King. No, reversal. King back on the ropes. Bruiser Brad looking to hunt down his prey. Will Steele stares at King for a little bit. Decides he no longer wants anything to do with Hunter King. Instead, he's going after the biggest, baddest guy in the yard. Oh, my goodness. Super kick by Parker. Hunter King gearing up for something. DDT by Steele. Look at King. Center of the ring. And is this a... It looks like it is. The package. Oh, and he drives. Lands a hard onto his head. Steele, oh, looked to go for a super kick, but it looked like Riley got there first. Nice reversal by Lanza. There is so much happening right now. Drop kick by Steele. Lanza and Riley going at it. Steele going after King. And instead turns his eyes towards Bruiser Brad once again. Brad, though, with Will in the corner. Look at this, Lanza has Hunter King up on the far side. Which, oh, Hunter King goes over. Will fighting all he can to stay in this matchup, and he does, elbow to the face of Bruiser. Brad and a backstabber by Hunter King. German to Brad. And, oh my gosh, what is, this is just craziness. Backbreaker by Parker to Riley. And oh boy. Parker's got Steele up. 
and a flapjack steel's been busted open. Lanza is on the top. Hunter King is doing his very best, and he does. Lanza's been eliminated. Five men remaining in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Will Steele recovering there on the outside almost. Look at this. King sends Riley over the top rope with a clothesline. And now Bruiser Brad runs at, oh, and there goes William Parker. Hunter King, Will Steele. Oh my God. Steele and Brad are the two remaining men left. Who is gonna get the victory and get into that internet championship matchup? It's gonna come down to this. Can Steele find the will? See what I did there? Look at this. Look at the strength of Steele. Can he find it in his self to eliminate Bruiser Brad? Or will Bruiser Brad get the... Oh, my God. Use his strength and height and weight as an advantage and eliminate Steele. A little agility action there from Bruiser Brad as he's gets slammed down to the mat look at this oh boy Will Steele has got Bruiser Brad on the ring ropes and over the top goes Brad over the top goes Brad ladies and gentlemen Will Steele has just won this eight man over the top rope battle royal uh, unbelievable the, the just craziness going into the ring you see that package driver and that's how it ends the big man ladies and gentlemen is eliminated by will Steele. he has been entered into the internet championship matchup at crowning achievement against Siler jordan ryu takeshi and duke zenda this triple threat just became a fatal four-way ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for rebellion thank you so much for watching come back soon crowning achievement is just around the corner.